PBL on the 2x2 is a more advanced method uh, that more advanced speedkeepers use uh, because it will allow you to reduce the moves that you do in the 2x2 and it will also improve your performance altogether because there aren't as many moves total. In PBL, there are a total of five algorithms, which is actually really a small amount compared to CLL, which has a lot, a lot more. So let's go ahead and go over the first case. Okay, so the first case is when you have made uh, the whole yellow side or the whole white side, or you know, you've made whatever face, and you have two bars that don't necessarily have to be the same color as the other one, but they're just two bars that are solved like this. Like I have two bar, a bar here and a bar here that are correctly solved. So it doesn't matter whatever color it is, it just matters that there's one on top that's solved and one on bottom that's solved. So if you run into this case where there's a one bar on top and one bar on bottom, it's going to be this algorithm. R2, U prime, B2, U2, R2, U prime, R2. And that is going to solve that case. The next case is when you have one bar and you want to have it on top. So you have one bar and then on the bottom, you don't have any bars, so there's just diagonal. So this algorithm for when there's one bar on top and diagonal corners on the bottom is going to be this. It's going to be R U prime R F two R prime U R prime. And that will solve that case. The next case is when you have something that sort of looks like this. So it's kind of like a beach ball pattern. It kind of looks like this right here. So we have no bars on either the top or bottom. So there are a few ways to do this algorithm, so I'm gonna show you a pretty easy one. It's just R, R2, F2, R2, and that will solve that. And you can also do it with a cube rotation, which might improve it, and you can just do a cube rotation and go uh, uh, R2, U2, R2 as well. The next case I have is when we have one bar on top and the whole bottom side is completely solved and or vice versa, where the top just is completely solved and the bottom only has one side. So if the bottom only has one side like this, if the bottom only has one bar, you can just do a cube rotation and we're going to do this algorithm. So it's a bit longer than the other ones that I've already showed, uh, but it's still pretty easy to memorize. So it's R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, uh, R, U, R prime, and then F prime and that will solve that case. Final case of PBL for two by two is this case. You have the whole bottom uh, solved and or top solved and one of the layers uh, that has is already oriented has this. So we have a diagonal corner swap just like here. So it could be on the bottom and you just, just like the other algorithm that I just showed, you can just do a cube rotation to, uh, to put this on the top. So this algorithm is F, R U prime R prime U prime and then it's R U R prime and then F prime R U R prime U prime R prime and then we're going to do F and then R and then an F and that will solve uh, that case. So those are all the PBL algorithms for the 2x2 two two. and for the last two if you know the beginner method for 2x2 two two, you should already know these they're just uh, in my previous 2x2 two two video, a T perm and a Y perm.